Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another home project. So today I am taking these adorable little resin Christmas trees. I will link that tutorial down below. You might remember we made these two years ago and they turned out so, so. They had a lot of bubbles and the branches didn't turn out great. The, uh, the straight ones were fabulous, but all the cute little loopy trees, I don't know what kind of tree this is, they were kind of a mess. So we redid the tutorial this year, trying it with a deep pour resin and they turned out so much better. So now I have an army of them and I'm using them in a bunch of my glass containers. So I want to make little snow globes. So this little guy, I made this, and by made, I mean I put stuff in it, um, maybe 10 years ago, right after college for my very first apartment. And I kept these eggs. I had a bird in this one. Kept these eggs in this in my craft room ever since. I love it. And I will probably put these back in for spring, but I thought this would be a really fun opportunity to make a whole little lineup of glass cloches and snow globes for Christmas. So here's the thing. First, you're gonna start with some, oh, if I opened it upside down, frosty snow, and you need a bunch of this stuff. And it is like glitter, it gets everywhere. So I've tried putting it in like a handful at a time. It's a bad idea. It just, it just gets everywhere. And it's very fluffy. And so it compacts. So if you just put a little bit in, your trees will sink in and you won't see as much of them. So you need to put enough snow in that you can push it down, compact it, and still be able to see your tree above the snow line. So that's probably good. I find for these containers, you wanna fill them about three fourths of the way full with your snow and then push it down to about a little under half and that's a good amount. So let me go ahead and fill all of these. I have some cloches, I have some bases, I even have a drink dispenser. Some are going to go on my island for Christmas and some go back on my counter or up on the shelves. I'm gonna put them all over. Now, if you don't own a bunch of glass apothecary type jars, I'm slightly obsessed with them. So I didn't buy any jars for this video. I just pulled these from all over my house. These go in my craft room. This one and a larger one go in my bathroom. They hold my bath bombs usually. This one goes back on the counter. This holds things by my sink. And these two little ones hold craft supplies in my craft room. So if you don't have those, they also look really cute in mason jars or just vases, really anything glass. All right, that might be enough. Hard to say because this one's such a funny shape. Let's use this little tree to kind of, no, I have to put my hand in. It's just not going to get that drop stuff. And I find with some of these that you kind of have to work at a slant. So you might need to put more snow in the front or the back than at the front. Oh no, tree down, tree down. It's not a small container, but the, t the opening is small keep little tiny bath bombs in this one. That way they don't come out all at once. <laughs> I'm thinking about switching it to a bath salts, like with a scoop, but I'm like, unless I get a scoop with a long handle, this will constantly be my life. But I love that it says Paris on the front and I have it paired with a big base that has a fleur de lis on it from my wedding. Okay actually a present from my mom for Christmas one year. She knows I have a 
addiction to glass containers. It's a problem. Eventually, if I ever have little hands in this house, I'll have to put them up high. But for now, the only little hands I have belong to my dogs and they can't reach up on shelves. This one's going to be the hardest, I think. I have to put it further back. So I think the problem is this one is trying to balance. The problem is me on that front curve. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm playing a very strange version of the crane game. This one's going to be fun too, isn't it? At least the opening on that one's better. I hope the lighting is okay because I swear as soon as I got all of this set up to get started, it started raining and got so dark in here. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm literally in the middle of my decorating for Christmas with me video right now. Got to the island to start working on it and realized I didn't have my snow globes ready. So I pause that video to make this video and then I'll go back to that video. If you want to see how this all turns out, I will have a finished home tour for Christmas at the end but I am doing a kind of vlog style decorate with me video as well. Especially cause my tablescape this year and my main Christmas tree I've already done for last year. I like them so much. I'm doing it the same way, just changing a few things. I know a lot of people like to change things every year, but it's not necessarily me. I just want to change a few new things Let's see if that's enough. You know, I already swept in here. Something's telling me I'm gonna have to sweep again. If you had the patience to cut up a million clear trash bags, you would you would make fake snow. See, much easier. You know, I haven't used any copper trees. I'm gonna have to switch some out. some battery powered string lights to these too because how cute would they be lit up
You need a lot in this one. should title this video, How to Make a Mess with Fake Snow. I'm pretty sure everyone already knows how to do that. These are so cute. This was such a good idea. around on my three turn tray and some of the other things on the island. I tried to put that in my hand but I just smooshed it right on the floor. All right. I grabbed this guy because I have a bunch of bottle brush trees still in storage that I thought might be useful but I like the resin trees so I'm gonna stick with the resin ones that's it like this is not a hard project we're literally just putting things in jars i hope you liked it if you did like comment subscribe and go check out the decorating videos where i use these for christmas i will see you in the next one bye <laughs>